So you guys really don't need me to tell you that the Carter 5 was fire. I think that's been one of the best rap releases all year long. Definitely could win best album. But I will share a couple thoughts with you guys. I think that, you know, years ago, I said Wayne should have retired. And this just proves that he's just back with a vengeance. Three, two, I let one go. Wow, get the fuck though. I don't bluff, bro. Aiming at your head like a buffalo. You're a roughneck. I'm a cutthroat. You're a tough guy. That's enough jokes. Then the sun died. The night is young though. The diamond still shines. In a rough hole. What the fuck though? Where the love go? Five, four, three. And the reason I said that was because in his prime, he was killing it. He had all the fire mixtapes. Carter three was a classic. And following after that, the Young Money explosion, then you got Drake's career, Nicki Minaj's career, and he's just been behind so much. But really, I think the fallout between him and Birdman, which is allegedly mended, put a major hindrance on his career. And I think he just got very overexposed, and you know I can't stand those who are overexposed. And he just fell off to me. I just personally lost interest, but this album, he came back, nearly every track was fire, had bars for days. And really like in the beginning, he said I was the first one with face tats and the first one to really say bull and popularize a lot of the blood shit in mainstream rap. So hey, you know, all the young rappers need to be just taking note that Wayne set the example, sets the bar high for lyricism and style so what do you think of the carter five i want to know your favorite songs and what do you guys want me to review next peace oh. i sleep with the gun and she don't snow what the fuck yo